Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Call to Arms Mods. With today we are back with the War of the Worlds mod. It is just the mod that keeps on giving. I was actually contacted by the uh, developer again saying that they actually updated the mod for Call to Arms as well with a new unit. The I believe it's called the Blood Type Tripod with a a uh, very menacing red light entailing from its uh, from its head, but that's not what we're going to take a look at today. That will be uh, probably a different video. Now, of course, last time we talked about that, uh, I wanted to try out what happens if we nuke the uh, tripods. Of course, we were finally able to defeat two tripods at the same time last time by really relying on various armor units uh, and we decided that using the tanks was the best solution but of course we had a combined uh, ignore the floating ones they will fix itself once the battle starts but now we actually only have tanks and we have around a hundred or so tanks fighting these three tripods to see if we are able to defeat more uh, than two because last time uh, when we defeated two there were actually a lot of tanks still operational and so I I want to quickly check out if we are able to do that. If not, we will resort to the nuke. The nuke obviously will not take a whole lot of time, so I thought it would be good to combine it with another attempt with just tanks this time. It will be a little bit laggy because there's so many units, so we will be playing this in slow motion to counter that lag, uh, so please bear with it. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we are all the way at the rear. And I get a good glimpse of the tanks as we approach where the tripods are. Again, you'll see some of the uh, tanks float, but once the battle actually uh, starts and they become active, they will properly uh, stick to the ground. I was also thinking I wanted to do more videos of just epic battles, you know, like I did with Epic Arma and with other games. So if you guys know any good games that offer those epic battles, let me know because I am kind of looking to bring that back to the channel. Here we can engage. I know that a lot of people want more story content, but I've talked about this multiple times. It actually takes a lot of time to do that, so there will still be story-driven content, but I would like to, uh, you know, more, uh, more frequently upload, and that will only be kind of possible with uh, gameplay videos, and when it comes to gameplay, I want to do epic battles like this. There's a very bad angle here to fire. The tripods this time are also a little bit more spread out. Um, in previous battles they were always up close, now they're spread out. I'm wondering what that will result in. You can see it's demolishing our right side. I can switch to the machine gun for a moment. Oh, I think I just crushed someone. Oh, that left one has already lost its shield. Look at that. That left one is going down. Let's focus a little bit. Let's help out. Oh, it's crumbling. Come on, reload. There we go. There it goes. One tripod down. Two more to go. This one also lost its shield. And if we deal with it, we have only one left. Come on. There you can actually see a little bit of the silhouette of the last one. Oh, this one went down as well. All right, all units move forward. I'm actually going to take a look how many tanks are still operational. Quite a lot, but dear God, you can see just how many there actually are. We'll actually take control of a tank more in the back. But yeah, as I said, I wanted to do more, like, uh, epic battle stuff uh, on the channel, show that uh, I've been playing for the uh, the Game Archivist channel, I've been playing Total Accurate Battle Simulator, or Tabs, and I know that there are a lot of games out there that offer, you know, these epics, or like, NPC battles, or sometimes also battles where you can uh, partake, so definitely let me know, and 
and uh, I'll hope to uh, increase the video output a little bit and uh, offer you some epic, epic displays. I'm just gonna keep hammering him. Oh, there I went. Looks like our left side is completely wiped out. Look at this graveyard over here. It seems we really need to come at him from the right angle. From the east side. And we're now at a perfect location. His shield is down. Uh, we're gonna do this. Oh my god, do you think we could take on four? That'd be glorious. I will say this. I am glad that we have um, we have cracked the code. Because like I, I said, even though... Oh, there well, there goes. Because even though there won't be that frequent of story content on the channel because it just takes some time. You know, I would like to do maybe like a mini-series of this. Oh, it's still standing. Keep on bombarding it, guys. Come on. Don't let up. There it goes. Boom. But yeah, I would like, for example, to make maybe a mini-series about this. This story-driven uh, content. Um, and I thought it would be a little bit lame if all you could do was one tripod at a time. Because having two tripods would simply be too, too strong. And we can actually now see that we can actually uh, take up until uh, three tripods at once. Maybe even four. You know, I could do four. Um... It'd be very laggy. I would like to do that maybe in a, in a level with less um, objects. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's time for the nuke. I also, also thought that might be a fun idea. Maybe we'll do that at the end of the video where I play as one of the, um, the tripods and see if I can actually withstand all those tanks. But uh, let's actually now add one more tripod so we have four and see what a nuke does. All right, everyone, here we are now with four tripods. And the nuke is right there, ready to be uh, set off. I deleted most of the tanks. There's a few I, uh, I kind of forgot. Uh, but that is to compensate with the lag, because once the nuke goes off, it probably will be a little laggy as well, because so many objects will catch on fire and fall over and that sort of thing. Um, but it's cool to actually now see what it will do and if we can resort to this final desperate measure if worse comes to worse and the aliens will overrun the Earth. So without further ado, let's actually activate the battle and set off the bomb. Oh, well, that's one down. Two down. Three down. Four down. And everything else basically gets destroyed. Now the tanks, not so much. They're actually in a distance where they survived that. But look, all of them, everything on the map is wiped out. It's incredible. They gave a great example of what a nuke can do, and um, it took them out without effort. Like, even if we would add a fifth or a sixth tripod, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that a nuke can take them out. The only way they can survive it is if they are, like these tanks, are um, at a distance where it will not hurt them. But yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> good to know that... Uh, the Starship Troopers lore, always rely on a nuke, also goes up for this. Anyway, since that was so short, uh, I thought it would be a pretty cool idea as well to see if I would be able to survive against all those tanks as a, one of the tripods. So let's actually end the video off with that. Alright guys, here we are now as the, the tripod. I actually deleted the other tripods, so all of the tanks will focus just on me. And uh, let's see if we will actually be able to uh, to deal with this. I increased the speed as well, so we're not actually that much in slow motion. Uh, mostly because, again, the tripods are what causes most of the uh, the lag. 
This is kind of cool. This is like uh, one of those simple, like, sort of like tower defense or, or wave shooter kind of experiences. Oh, God. Whoa, I already died. Oh, my God. That was really, really fast. Holy snap. I mean, listen. I got the rage of all of these tanks, okay? Like I said, we have like a hundred tanks and all of them just shot on me instead of that. Like, you need way less tanks. Like, probably 30 tanks or something would be good enough to deal with, uh, with one of these. It's good to know that, um, you know, the, the humans are able to so successfully fight the tripods. Um, it's a little bit of a shame that I cannot be that... Uh, creative with armor formations like we really have to rely just on the regular tanks but then again uh, we can combine it with infantry stuff and it will be fine anyway guys thanks so much for watching again let me know if you know any games that we you want might want to see me play that have some uh, very epic battles you know total accurate or tabs uh, maybe um, some total war games or arma uh, you know just all sorts of stuff. I want to go go back to the uh, to the epic battles thing and uh, let me know what's out there that you'd like to see. Anyway, guys, without further ado, uh, see you guys next time.